Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today I want to show you Bruce Free by Clev Grand in some detail because uh, this is an app I use almost every day, almost every single day. Certainly if it's a screen recorded video like this or what it used to be when it was filmed and the audio was going direct, always put Bruce Free on the microphone channel. You'll notice in a lot of my videos, Bruce Free is in a microphone channel. Bruce Free is a noise it's like noise reduction it's like a noise killer we, we all suffer from um you know noise in our mix sometimes whether it be a guitar amp whether it be this background hiss you're hearing off this microphone you can hear that this is a really old behringer c1 condenser mic it's really ancient but it's a really nice mic i still really like this mic but it's quite noisy you can hear that right the thing is uh, if we engage bruce free right you'll still hear the noise okay and then if we open it you see where it says learn now this there's a correct way to use bruce free and a wrong way to use it okay what bruce free needs to do is listen to the the, the parts of the audio that you want to you know you need to kill a noise like this hiss but it just needs to listen to that part of the audio. So for instance, if you've got like a guitar amp on a, and this will work on obviously tracks as well, anything that's noisy, but it needs some sort of little tiny bit of silence, literally a few seconds. And all you do is you press this ear for literally a couple of seconds and it kills the noise. And it's done. And then we have some attack threshold and release and edge and high pass filter and high. We don't need to worry about that yet. There's no point in it having presets because it literally is just listening to that hiss and then killing it. So now, without this, and with it back in, like the effect, it's just remarkable. No more hiss, lovely clean signal. So let's take this a, 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 a stage further. On this channel here where it says USB 3 and 4, I've got a keyboard sound from the Yamaha Mode DX called Tapes, which is purposely made to sound like this. And it's got this... It's like a Mellotron type sound. And um, they've put the, well, Dom Segales, the designer of this particular sound, he's put the all the lo-fi noises in. He's just sweep through on the controls. But say, for instance, you've got a really old keyboard and it's just generally making that hum, you know, like that earth hum sound or that electronic hum sound. Or it's just old and dirty, you know what I mean? So we engage Bruce Free. And again, all we need to do is tap it and then hit the lane. But it's better if it's hearing it well, there's nothing else playing. And it's, it's literally a couple of seconds. Now, if you listen really carefully, you'll still hear a little bit of that in the background. This is where you can start to use your different filters and controls. But the best way to stop this is you see this, this center line here on the little graph. Just pull that down and that noise will go away. So we've gone to minus 37 and it's it's killed all that, all the noise. Okay, so more extreme. This is dark here. My guitar is plugged into USB 1, Steinberg UR44 interface. So 5 and 6 is the microphone. USB 1 is the guitar. USB 3 and 4 is the keyboard you've just heard. Now, Stark, now I've got this set on extreme mid heavy. Okay, so, and I've also also made some adjustments to the gain and, and stuff like that. So this is extreme, but we do all get this from guitar amps as well sometimes, even when they're on quiet settings. So here we go, but I have set this at an extreme, extreme, extreme level.
so let's start by it's my guitar picking up the and then let's start at an extreme level and I'll engage Bruce Free. So that was the guitar without anything. Extreme. Massive difference straight away. And then we can just do the trick of pulling down a threshold. And now we've had to go a little bit further. Now we've got our guitar, basically, if we... And this is why I put the gain in. So you might want to boost that up a bit now. And at this point, okay, also, is because you pull the threshold down, you could do some adjustments like that. Make some adjustments, or even then further put an EQ in. But basically, what, what Bruce Free has done now is eliminate all that noise from all of those instruments. Just try and stop the guitar from making too much noise. We, once we disengage, we should listen to the difference. Look, just tons and tons of noise that you don't need. I mean, of course, it might be that you're after all that kind of mad retro noise. And then sometimes it's good in varying degrees. What's also nice about Bruce Free is that you can control... the amount of noise as well. So maybe you think to yourself, well, do you know, I really want a little bit in me guitar. You know, or none at all. It's very, very clever, very, very simple to use. But the key thing is, if it's on a track, you want a little bit of, even a couple of seconds, literally a few seconds of just that noise on its own. And then, so like, it's a good idea if you're recording guitar, which it usually happens on, on audio input. But if you're recording guitar, maybe you just want to set, set it up first before you record anything, if you're ready to go on the beat. And then all your kind of noise, if you want to stop your guitar, is not going to be there. And it's it's so, so, so very, very effective and, and good at what it does. It just does the job absolutely perfectly. It's just epic. So I would highly, highly recommend Bruce Free to, to anyone who records music on her iPad. It's just absolutely epic. Guys, anyway, it was really a really short video. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll put a link in for Bruce Free in the description and check it out. I'll do a few more of these where I'll show you kind of apps that I use every day kind of thing or different utilities or, or even effects and stuff. <clears throat> anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Bless you all. Uh, please like the video uh, or give it a thumbs up. Just kick the kick the thing is such a high a high gain pick, high gain sound. Every little movement in the room affects the guitar. Um, but give the give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron, guys. I will see you very 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 soon. Very very soon. I'll see you guys very very soon. See you later. Ta ta. Bruce Free.